Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking this uh, link. Yep, so I recently upgraded this computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and uh, in this computer previously I had GNS3 installed. I had GNS3 installed here as well as um, my uh, VMware Workstation Pro here, okay? So I'm using GNS3 VM, which is actually installed on the VMware Workstation. So whenever I open my GNS3 VM, I mean my GNS3 application, it uh, uh, automatically opens the VMware Workstation. So I'm getting this error here, okay? The virtualized Intel is not supported on this platform. Continue without virtualized Intel, that one, right? So I've done my research and I'm gonna show you how to resolve this error. So first of all, we're just going to search uh, for Windows and features, turn on uh, Windows features or off, okay? And then we're going to check if Hyper-V is enabled. So the problem can come when the Hyper-V is enabled. So in my case, it's not enabled, right? You can see it's actually not enabled. So we, let's go to the second option. Yeah, it's not enabled, right? So I'm just gonna, if it's enabled actually, if it's, uh, if it's enabled, just ensure you untick it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go to the next uh, step. Uh, let's go to the system information to check some uh, Hyper-V information. So if you click on the last, uh, if you go to system information and on the last uh, um, uh, thing here, you can see hypervisor has been detected. Features for uh, Hyper-V will not be displayed, right? Okay, so let me sh uh, show you how to solve this problem, right? So in this scenario, let's open, let's open uh, PowerShell and then show you run it as admin, right? Okay. And just okay, right? So I'm sure you paste this command bcd edit uh, forward slash set hypervisor launch type equal to, equals to off, okay? All right, and just hit enter. And you see the operation has been uh, completed successfully, right? So this still will not completely solve the problem. What we need to do is to run additional and final command that will actually permanently resolve this problem, right? So this is the second command that we're gonna run. So I just paste it there. Don't worry, I'm going to leave all these steps uh, on, the, on, on the video's description. So ensure you run this second command, right? Okay, so this one will actually uh, res completely resolve that problem, right? All right, so let's let's let me just close my GNS3, and uh, no, I'll do it that later, and uh, also close the VMware station here. Okay, now I'm gonna open my GNS3 again. GNS3 will automatically open the uh, the, uh, the VMware station, so let's monitor that to see if the error is completely resolved. Oops, we're still getting the same error. So let's just restart the machine. Let's just restart it so that we come back again. So I'll post this video and then uh, after restarting the video, I'll show you this, uh, the next stages. Okay, so guys, I've restarted this computer and now I'm gonna open the GNS3 application again so that I monitor whether uh, the problem is completely resolved or not. So it's very important. I'll leave all the steps on the video's description or the first comment. Kindly check on uh, the first comment or the description to get all the steps. So after running the commands, ensure you restart your computer to resolve the issue. So this is the last step actually. Okay, let's wait that. Perfect, so we are no longer getting the error again. So the problem actually 
is completely resolved. Yep, so guys, as you can see, uh, our VM is ready and we have completely resolved the issue that we were getting before. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope this video helps. Bye and see you again in the next class. Thank you.